Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this particular video I would love to show you how you can use the MCP server for Jupyter Notebook, connect to the Jupyter Notebook using MCP servers, right? Uh, use your favorite uh, AI assistant, Cloud Desktop or GitHub Copilot, whatever that is. And then, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, prompt it naturally like, hey, can you do this or can you write this or can you read the uh, data from this particular source? And the code is written by AI and also executed on the particular Jupyter cell. This makes it very, very easy in scenarios where you want to write quick scripts or where in scenarios where you want to test something out. Just uh, provide a prompt and the code will be written and of course you can verify and vet it. So in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the process. So let me uh, show you the process, right? So I have my Jupyter Notebook running locally and I'm uh, here I have my cloud desktop. Of course, I'll show you how to integrate this, but let me show you a demo. Write me, write me a function which takes a name and uh, prints hello the person name and execute so i gave it a prompt to my cloud desktop like hey you know just write me a simple function and again it's not there over here as you can see so i'm just going to click allow so now it's inserting a new uh, code into the cell as you can see this is this is something that the ai wrote i did not write that my mcp server was able to connect to that right so let me show you how to do the integration all right, so if you are excited to learn, I'll show you the steps. Okay, step one is come to the GitHub repository, Jupyter MCP server. Uh, and what you want to do is over here, you can see these pip commands. Ensure that you uh, fire all of the three commands. I've already done that. So, but again, I'm going to do that again in the video. So I'm just going to do pip install. Then pip uninstall. And then I'm going to do pip install this particular version. As you can see, I've installed all the dependency right in front of you. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, now what you want to do is you're going to say Jupyter and you want to do server, you want to do list. Uh, here you can see that token. Uh, if it's a little hard, I'll zoom in a bit here, right there. So here you can see probably a token, right? I want you to go ahead and copy this particular token in Notepad or wherever you like, okay? Now, once you're done with that, now open up your Cloud desktop over here, as you can see, Cloud settings. Uh, head over to, oops, uh, head over to developer, right? and then click on edit configuration and then click on this. So here you can see the JSON config, right? And again, this JSON config is given on the uh, GitHub page as well. It's nothing new I'm doing, right? The only thing that's gonna be new is the token over here. So I'm gonna copy the token. So my token ends with, uh, let's see, this one, right click, copy, paste, and then paste here. I'm gonna save this, okay? And then the next step is ensure your Docker desktop is running in the background. So I'm going to go to my uh, Docker. Uh, there's a container running, so I'm just going to kill it quickly. So ensure that your Docker desktop is running, okay? So once you have saved the configuration in your JSON file, okay, save it. Go to your cloud desktop, refresh it. Uh, you will see, uh, again, now just restart your cloud desktop. So what I'm going to do is cloud, quit. And then I'm just going to say cloud, open up. So it's just going to restart, right? And as soon as I do that, you can see that container is running in the background. You can verify by going into settings, uh, settings, developer, you can see that's probably running, right? Now, once that is done, uh, you can probably uh, start the Jupyter uh, uh, server now, right? So here you can see the command Jupyter lab port 8888 identity provider to and then wherever it says my token, ensure that you put your token over there. So let me see if I can open up notepad. Okay. Now, I will copy this over here. And then the, the, the only thing, as I said, right, the, the token, the most important part, right? So I'm gonna copy the token there, put my token over here, uh, making sure I didn't miss any spaces there. And then that's it. I mean, just, uh, you know, launch the Jupyter, uh, 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 Jupyter cell, right? And then uh, again, I, I have a Jupyter notebook, uh, right? So this one is the one, right? And then you can just ask now um, Claude to, you know, write code and then they will interact with your Jupyter Notebooks now. So if I open up, if I open up Claude, if I go to, uh, if I go to this one, and again, uh, as you can see, uh, we have some code there. So I'm gonna delete this, okay? I'm gonna say, hey, so use this, at least say, So 
So let's see if it works. I just give a simple prompt, uh, a test prompt right here. Okay. So the prompt says like, hey, you know, take a person, uh, write me a Python function that takes a first name and last name. And then I just want you to, you know, execute that particular cell. So I think it's now connecting to that uh, notebook. Let's uh, see if it works. Okay, let's see if I can just refresh here. And here you can see that particular function, right? It's there, right? So it, it does work fine. Now, this is useful, right? Like in, in, in terms of like, you know, at point when you're doing like ad hoc analysis, right? Uh, when you wanna analyze something quickly and you don't wanna write like too much code, you can just uh, prompt it like, hey, you know, I am trying to do this analysis. Can you read the data from this and this source? Uh, churn the data, crunch the data, and give me like, you know, stats out of it, right? So it works very, very uh, perfectly with that. So I hope you have enjoyed the demo. I hope you got some insight on how you can leverage MCP servers with Jupyter Notebook. Uh, with that being said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Until then, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video.